Hello there my music lovers, I'm Joshua Defile Heaven and today we are having a look at Oriveti OV800. This is an 8 balanced armatures EM priced at 999 US dollars. Also straight from China, so let's get down with the unboxing. I actually felt like mentioning the fact that they are straight from China because the name sounds Italian and they are not made in Italy or in Europe and I don't know, most people including myself assumed that they are from Italy and we kept mentioning this until someone corrected me and told me no they are from China and I verified and indeed they are from China. The OV800 is an interesting game with sonic switches, 8 premium balanced armatures per each year and the beautiful build quality. So let's get down with the unboxing those bad boys. This is the package. They also come with a little frequency sweep and uh, I do think that it is not entirely correct with what I hear. So their frequency response graph is not exactly how I hear them. I actually hear them a bit better than what they described there. I have my pair configured to be in the most V-shaped position for today's review. They can get even more natural and even more linear, but that will not be necessary for most people. The package is interesting. You get the EMs, you get a cable, slightly complicated to pull out the cable, as you can see. We also have quite a few more accessories than, for example, included with the Fear Audio 5X5. They are direct competitors given the price point, so both are 999 US dollars, so I will draw some direct comparisons between them. We also have three beautiful boxes, one with ear tips. So we have a multitude of ear tips in the first package with ear tips named ear tips one. There is a package named ear tips two, which also has a multitude of ear tips. I don't know what else I was expecting to have. But the second, the ear tips 2 package has mostly foam tips, also a few silicone larger tips. Like most balance armatures, OV800 is quite sensitive to tip rolling and you should find the tips that provides the best sound with your ears, which may be why the company included so many tips with the package. And we also have a really beautiful carrying case, which is actually made of leather. It's actually written on the back as well. This is genuine leather. Yeah, it has that smell the leather usually has. And we have even more tips. Those look like uh, X Elastic from Asla. I should verify if they are. There is also a little bag of silica. Very useful for keeping your EMs dry, especially premium balanced armatures like to be dry. We have detachable cables based on the two pin connector, as you can see here. Cable does not twist inside the socket, so this is a two pin connector. They also have no ear guides, which means that there is no part that forces them to go around your ear, but this is how they are meant to be worn. While being worn, the Orivetti OV800 provides an excellent amount of passive noise isolation, which is between 20 and 25 decibels of passive noise isolation, pretty much excellent. You shouldn't have any problems even if you decide to perform with them, you could wear them to a concert that you could barely hear the sound in the concert. But I do feel my voice quite loud while using them. It's like a little grinding machine in my head. The bore tips are metallic, which is important to note because some moisture will happen on the bore while wearing them, but none will enter the EM. That is something that I've noticed. It's something like unique most EMs get some kind of humidity while being worn, but those get quite a bit and it is quite visible because it is this golden color. The board is the metallic golden color. There are two switches at the back, one for bass and one for table, which you can use to either make the OV800 more mid-range forward or more V-shaped. And I honestly, I can listen to them only more V-shaped because if you make them even more mid-range forward than they are, it's just very mid-range forward. The sound is already quite balanced. The sound has a very flat type of signature with a tone of detail and a tone of resolution and just so much information that they are exposing. It is incredible to hear. The problem with this type of signature is that for some people it can be a bit fatiguing because you can hear absolutely everything. There is not a single thing you won't hear. You hear every single minor intricacy in your music, you just hear everything. The instrument separation is also unbelievably good. It's, it's so amazing. Every single part about the sound of OV800 is amazing, but the kind of detail they are able to pull is just just on a different level from most TMs. Their cable though is ended in just 3.5 millimeters, so it is just single-ended. You may want to upgrade the cable, but the cable quality is also perfect. This is such a nice cable. They also make an upgrade cable for them, which I will be reviewing in writing. And the cable is not tangle prone, as you can see. No problem with microphoning noise conduction, but the upgrade cable is also interesting. We have it here. It is named the Affinity 2. It came with the same beautiful carrying case as the EMs. A little bag of silica and this is a modular cable. I love this. 
Ah, I wanted the modular cable. Also ended in the two pin connector, so it can be used with the Orivetti OV800. And we have the modular end here. So we have uh, heads to use it with a 4.4 millimeter balanced, 3.5 millimeter single ended and 2.5 millimeter balanced. The Affinity 2 cable allows players like Castel and Kern SA 180 and Ibezo DX 240 and Ibezo DX 300 and Lotopo 6000 to reach their full potential by allowing you to use the balanced connection. Orivetti OV800 despite being an all balanced armature setup is not extremely sensitive to noise so you should have no trouble using them with any other source. They are quite good with most sources and they are somewhat source dependent. The source should have a fair amount of resolution detail and clarity. If your source lacks one of those or if your source is not engaging or dynamic enough, you will hear this in the OV800. At the price they are priced at, they are quite competitive. They are priced as a flagship and they are packaged like a flagship. For example, compared to Fira Audio 5X5, which is the same price, the OV800 comes with considerably more tips. It comes with a larger package and the carrying case for OV800 just seems higher quality in general. So Fira Audio may be losing some ground on that very spark package that they include with their EM. In actual sonic performance, the sound of OV800 is like giving steroids to an etymotic EM. It is just incredibly detailed, incredibly sharp and very precise. The sound of the OV800 is just outstanding in precision and in clarity and in the overall resolution. Everything just screams of detail, everything. You, you just hear absolutely everything. But the sound is extremely flat despite their measurements showing quite a bit of a bass uplift. The sound is audibly flat. You don't really hear any increase in the lows or of the highs. Those would be the perfect EMs for recording music, for mastering and for mixing music if you need a really flat type of EM. They are never fatiguing to my ears. I am quite used to having a bit of treble. So for me, they actually are slightly too smooth, I would say. I would actually have wanted a bit more treble sparkle and a bit more engagement, a bit more sparkle in general, but their sound is just so detailed. I find them very enjoyable. I just find this type of sound very enjoyable. The bass is extremely quick and extremely detailed. It just reveals so much nuance compared to most EMs, especially those that have a natural speed. Having a very quick bass speed will reveal very minor changes in bass much more easier than when you have a natural or a slow bass speed. Slow bass speed usually just means that all of the bass notes are going to sound exactly the same. They are going to be poof, a long poof. If you are having a very quick bass, every single bass sound will be quite different and everything will just be poof or poof and everything will just have its own speed and its own overall resolution. The Orivetti OV800 impressed me in many ways. They are comfortable to wear, they provide a good amount of passive noise isolation and they aren't very sensitive to source noise. So you could use them with pretty much every single source out there and call it a day and be happy and have a ton of fun. They have a very linear and very flat sound, which can be a positive thing if you are looking for this type of signature, especially if you are a mid-range lover, if you enjoy a very natural and very well-toned vocal presentation they have a perfect tonality but at the same time if you are looking for something that has a bit more bass and a bit more treble slam something slightly v-shaped or something that has some mid-range depression they can be quite linear for that they can go from this very linear type of signature to being mid-range forward by disengaging the two switches at the back and that is a sound that is interesting it reminds me quite a bit of the sandy audio pickup which i have in the back and i still use i think that the sandy audio pickup is a beauty full headphone that is quite underrated because they have some sub bass roll off they do have that sub bass roll off which some people do not find that enjoyable but the bass has really good impact where it has something like the Orivetti OV800 has no sub bass roll off no bass roll off they have the full bass full impact full depth to the bass. It's just that the quantity of the bass relative to the quantity of the mid-range relative to the quantity of the treble can be quite linear so they are very evenly balanced which sounds good on paper but when listening to them can be slightly unengaging especially if you are used to something that has a ton of variation in the sound and something that has a ton of coloration in their signature. I do hope that my reviews are very colorful. I hope that they are colored and I hope that you find your time on Audiophile Heaven interesting. I hope you will consider leaving a like like on this video. Also, press subscribe to Audiophile Heaven for more awesome content. I do hope that if you have questions, you will ask them in the comments because I'm here to help. That is the whole purpose for which I'm making those videos. I'm making them so that I can do some acting, so that I can 
bring some fun to you and so that I can offer you some help. So if you do have questions, please don't be hesitant and ask them. I may be able to offer some introspection about how those sound and whether they are interesting or not for you. I may be able to offer even more comparisons and keep an eye out for my full written review. I will be including much more comparisons pairings and more on the OV800, a flagship that is unexpectedly good. I hope you have a lovely week in there and I hope we'll see each other really, really soon. Bye bye.